Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset, and we're playing What's XCOM status, Enemy Unknown. Thank you, Central. We're getting a lot of garbage on the line. You're not coming in clearly. Yes, thank you. All right, fine. Thank you, Central. Thank you for getting in the way of my introduction there with telling me that apparently I'm not coming through very clearly. We'll sort that out later. Um, in our last mission, we got a VIP killed in Germany, which meant that Germany redlined, um, which is annoying because we've only got six days to the next counter report, and Germany's actually our home base. So I really would rather not lose Germany. Um, I am kind of hoping that we get some kind of event triggers next so that we ch chance it maybe something in Europe to reduce this thing. But the problem is we're running it red or orange in both Northern Europe and most of Asia. So if we get a bad event, we may end up in a situation having to choose, well, which area do we want to pick with? Um, yeah, kind of screwed. Either way, Africa, reasonably okay. We should have a satellite coming online in a new location very soon. Let's, in fact, have a quick look at our list. Um, Mexico, we've got a satellite coming online, which should give us all of the North America. So we'll get the nice little bonus from that. Um, so what is the bonus from North America? Bonus air and space. Okay. Uh, it doesn't tell me what that is. That's not that useful. I'm going to assume it means I get cheaper, uh, cheaper satellites, cheaper bits of maintenance. So let's, um, scan for activity. Um, and, Hope maybe that we get um, something happen in before six days before we lose Germany. Apparently, we've got this one. We interrogated the berserker. Virtually impossible. Armor technology researched. Okay. I don't know if we're actually going to use that thing, but let's get ourselves a plasma rifle project. This is the only one we've got. We're running out of things to research. We've not got much in the way of cash at the moment, so we won't be buying very much. But we do have several satellites coming online to basically fill in the rest of our network, um, and then we'll be heading on and see what we can find. In the interim, let's head to Mission Control and spin that time on, so that should be a satellite coming up. Done for New South Soldiers. Ammo conservation. Nice. That was a foundry project which greatly reduced the amount of and um, greatly increased the as it doubles the amount of ammo our crews can carry, so we should get much less worry about reloading. Plasma rifle in three days and the cancer report, so it looks like we will, will be losing Germany. There we go, there's the plasma rifle. We can't really afford to rig it at the moment. Um we will hopefully, probably have it in a few minutes. Incoming transmission. There we go. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this Council makes lightly. Okay, looks like we got a tick down over the United States and over Germany. So, uh, why concern that things are always going to go horribly, horribly wrong have been partially... Uh, so we've got the air and space bonus, we have the expert knowledge bonus. Hopefully with the satellites we've just gained, we should be able to get ourselves the Africa bonus. Remember, we will be watching. So we're going to go back, and we now have a nice chunk of credits. So let's head to Situation Room and launch a volley of satellites. So I will put one up over Egypt. Satellite launched. Xcom funding increased by 30%. Nice. I will launch Commander one. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. All right, I will do that in a sec. I will launch a satellite over. Satellite launched. India. I'm trying to, we're not going to get the bonus from here because we lost Australia. No satellites available, no satellites available. Pretty sure we had a set. Fair enough. You okay. should file that request directly with Dr. Valen, although I'm not sure she'll be very open to the idea. Who are you talking to? I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. 
I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Nice. So we have a plasma sniper rifle, plasma shotgun, and what's this? Imagine using medic field. Okay, what is it? It's a type of gun, fair enough. We've got a credit on the sniper rifle, we've got a credit on that, so let's just get on with the sniper rifle. Right, okay, satellite over Egypt, satellite over North, satellite operational over there, another satellite turning up in six days, which will then put in our, the, oh, do we have any extra, let's have a look at this, our slots, we need one more satellite, and then we've got full coverage of everyone we've got, so let's the go. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. A satellite. Do I have any of the other satellites ordered? No. Engineering. Build by facilities. Get me one more satellite. Thank you. Oh, yes. Let's um, look at the facilities then. Satellite Nexus, Satellite Nexus. If we excavate that, we can probably put another one in. Just do a basic satellite uplink. Looks like we could do with some more power. What power options do we have? Build an Illyrium generator. Yep, build that. And then we'll worry about putting the extra power in a bit later. So we'll put the extra power point down here so we can link up with that steam thing. Let's um, dig that out while we're here. Do we want another workshop? Hmm. Or a laboratory? Workshops, perhaps, because that'll give us a cheaper cash. So, we'll probably put a workshop in here. And then we'll, with that, in, so five days we'll have all that digging done, which will be nice. Get that extra satellite in quite a while. Facilities, yes, I've looked at. Foundry. Heavy weapons platform, improved pistol, still satellites. I would like that. Yes, for 150 credits, I would like to not have to worry quite so much about getting. We're certainly my keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. Shot out of the sky. So a light plasma rifle. This is a plasma rifle. Med kit, Triton plating up for a plasma pistol. Okay, fair enough. I think we can't recycle things. Titan armor. Skeleton suit, carapet. It's a real shame I can't recycle some of these. Titan armor. How many Titan armors? I don't have insufficient armor alloy, so I can build one of them. Okay. How much are plasma rifles? So I can probably manufacture a pair of these. I will probably save these for getting the plasma shotgun and the laser, sorry, and the plasma sniper rifle. So let's sit on that. Is there anything else we can just buy with flat out cash? Hmm, yeah, I think we could probably get another. couple of interceptors up. I mean, how long is the stealth satellites? Oh, only two days. Alright, that's fine. Let's spin time on. Stealth satellites. Thank you very much. Satellite coverage now available over... Yay! And the plasma sniper rifle. So we will go back to research. Nice. That's going to really help. Need weapon fragments. All right, looks like we won't be doing any research. Same, I can't have you just tick on to doing something else. In the interim, engineering, build by plasma sniper rifle. Just the one, please. 
Paris. Okay, we'll go to the hangar. Sorry, the barracks. A few soldiers. Unsurprisingly, it's zero. He's gonna get. So the standard laser rifle does long range, six damage, thirty percent critical chance, critical damage of nine. The plasma variant. Wow, that's a lot of damage. It even improved critical chance. That's an enormous weapon. So that's gonna do us a lot of damage. It'll become even more deadly. Looking forward to putting you in the field. And our heavy is actually healed from her injuries. So. Nice. Could this have her back? I wonder. Engineering, build by items. Plasma rifle, plasma pistol. So we don't have the sniper thing or the weapon for her yet. Alright, back to mission control. And let's scan for activity. Satellite, Satellite on. Lift. Engineering. Facilities. That's that lift in. If you'd be so kind as to build me... Alright, so we need to put a power generator in first. Yeah, we need to put a power generator in first. So, kind of reach that investigating, so we need to wait a few more days. Fair enough. Let's carry on. Come on. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Well, let's go and do that then. Let's put that up over the United Kingdom. Launch. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Yep, we're Additional about to build. Uplink required. We're about to build one more in a few months. Lady who we've never met who likes to tell me things. You've got a the large answer. contact and it's coming in fast. We're going to have a difficult time keeping up with this one. Okay. Scramble the interceptors. I think I've got a name module I can use to help. Enemy is padlocked. I have no idea what that means. Approaching target now. Heavy, heavy fire. Ooh, that was close. So you took a bit of a beating. So I will deal with that in a sec, but we need to go to the hangar and the ship list. And our Asian unit took a bit of a beating, so let's order another interceptor. Head to engineering, build by, and we build Phoenix cannon, laser cannon, so you're better and the EMP is even better. Well, we've got the cash and the alloys, so let's buy... Selection of these. Head to the hangar, briefly. So let's get Demon 1 loaded up with that plasma cannon. Yeah, okay, that should be a better gun for you. Don't even know how much point putting them in South America. Load out plasma cannon. So you should have a range of units. No, you're ready, so one day on that lot, the shiny. Anyway, back to here. Yeah. Well, we have a UFO crash site to go and investigate, which will be our mission for the day. Send that Sky Ranger. Right oh, so clear out you two. Bring in our heavy. And two, three, and four, and bring in a rookie. Dara clean. Welcome aboard. Well, so that's our squaddy. As is traditional, you get decent armor, light plasma rifle, keep the pistol, and you get the arc thrower. 
Because you're the one who has to get nice and close. So we've got frag grenade and a rocket launcher, scope, then a 5S, medkit. Yep, I am happy with this. Let's go. This is a big UFO, so there's a half decent chance it might be quite large. Operation. We're going to be happy chicken. In the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Operation Happy Chicken. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. Happy, there happy, happy, happy chicken. I hope they stay clear. Happy chicken. It's a happy, happy chicken. It's operation Happy Chicken. Be landing on the roof? I didn't think it was that big. I mean, landing on the roof would suit me, rather than having to approach and just come in from above. Just drop in on them, alien bastards, right the way. Looks like we've got. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the ground. Wow, we're Captain right Big on Sky. top of it. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. That's a big rig. We're going to get a lot of shiny kit from this. We're going to be moving up really carefully. So there's zero with our rig. So let's have you. Let's move from the back. Come up to here. Didn't nudge too much further forward. I'm hoping we're not going to get too much trouble from the sides. Don't want to spawn too much. Okay. Partial cover, partial cover. Crash version one of the ones we deal with earlier. There's plenty of space in there, just we are starting very much closer to it. So, can you get up to here? Yes, you can, and you can still shoot afterwards. This looks to be a supply ship of some kind, and the potential storage capacity is enormous. If the aliens are really attempting to bring in this much outside material, it can only mean they're ramping up the scale of the invasion. Okay, do you have a shot? You do. You don't have a shot. 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 You've got a shot on three, which means to me you are in trouble. And you're going to get shot by too many of them for my liking. So I'm going to have you... I'm going to have you run and gun. Stick and move, stick and move. And go over here. You do still have a shot. I'd much rather if you went into... No, let's leave that for now. Let's get everyone else in a position where they can support. Will you come up to here? You do have a shot, but I don't want to leave you hideously out in the open. What I want is for these guys to come around a corner into a blizzard of fire. So come around over to here, switch to your other weapon, give me an overwatch. Overwatch. So look, there's only three of them. We've got half cover. We do have a medic. Overwatch. Overwatch. And Overwatch. What are the odds on that shot? 1% to hit. 20% chance of a critical. No, give me an Overwatch in case anyone comes around that corner. So I'm assuming that some of these guys are going to perhaps try and move or nudge their positioning. The answer was they did neither. Interesting. That's a dangerous position, there's too much out there. That's also a dangerous position, we'll end up too many being able to shoot at you. Pretty happy with this layer, I just wouldn't mind swapping a couple people. You're another run and gunner. You're another assault unit. You're my rookie. You can't reach. You're my healer. 
So I want you in a position where you can lay smoke. Alright, you drop back to over here. Zero, you come over here. Nice, you do have a shot from there. That's squad sight, of course. Overwatch. Overwatch. Again on the Overwatch. Again Overwatch. You. Already moved, so unfortunately can't take that shot, which was a shame. You can go on to Overwatch. Yeah, same as before. Ah, I could use flash. I'll do that next time if he doesn't move. Yeah, switch. And clear him out for me. Wow, let's see what this gun fires like. Locked us in the front of it. Clean that out. And give me an overwatch. It's a shame it's not always the same location. I would really like to be able to quick key this my way through this rather than to. Uh, I suspect. Yeah, that came up behind. Fair enough. You do have a shot. You don't. You can get over there. You can get over there. Okay. Yes, alright, let's put some fire down on this guy. 20% chance to hit. 39% chance, you're in a lot of cover. Let's take the weaker chance first. Actually, no, can you move to a position where you might get a better shot? Ooh, there around we go. Now, so the question is, you probably could go here and improve your chances of taking that shot. Now you've got it flanked. Nice. Force the target to move to a new position or just outright hit him. Critical hit as well. Nice going. Right, you are in a reasonable position, but I'm not too happy about your cover. But give me Overwatch. You're on that mode. Give me Overwatch. 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 And Overwatch. They're starting to lose ground! You popped your head out for no good reason. You don't have a shot. You don't have a shot. Okay, take it, get rid of him. 13 damage on a critical hit, it just, it's just ruination. Right, I spotted three mutons. One on that trigger point, and three mutons are now cleared, so let's cycle through everyone. Process the new turn, so I have a fresh set of moves. the outside, I think. Just have a quick look at it. See what we've got. Yeah, no, what I expected, not much cover. Whereas the inside deck has a bit more cover, but also we can get up onto the side sections. That looks like it's got no path. That looks like it might have a path further inside the ship, so... Ooh, collecting some uh, edging here. Let's move up. Piece by piece. You stay where you are. Shuttle across. Moving as always as we do these days, much more cautiously than we've done previously, because you know, we've lost enough soldiers the other way. Okay, Overwatch. Overwatch. I really wish it was on the button, I could just double tap. I'm loving the fact we've got that ammo capacity. See, we've got 
because if you were taking the shotguns previously, that would have greatly reduced the amount of ammo. So it's going to take a small than I dropped it. Right. As we were doing previously, let's have these guys reveal more. See, but we still have to, don't have not yet captured a neutron, so we're going to try and keep our eyes open. But the right, we're seeing them and killing them. So, you got a good location. Not really. Let's have a look. Okay. Put one up to the other side. Welcome to the party, diary. Your first mission as a member of XCOM involves running around inside an enormous alien base. So we've not seen anyone, or treated anyone. So we are going to carry on with our... We might as well just reload. reload. Overwatch. Reload. Back online! Overwatch. 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 That's everyone. Some viewing and activity. Audio dead ahead. Do you hear something? It's a cargo ship this so we should keep going this way. Wow, this thing is big. Okay, so there's a fair bit of stuff further ahead of us. So this is a larger mission than we've done previously. Looks like we can get up there and there. I personally would much rather be on the upper decks to keep me covering fire. So you can get up and dash up to there. Let's pick a direction we know they're not. Yeah, it's far too far to dash. It's going to be a smaller move this turn, I think. Getting as many people up. Thank you. Checked on one of the sceneries so that we can move up onto the upper deck as best we can. Let's do it again. We are going to all go up one side because otherwise things will go badly wrong. Pretty happy to double tap him up. We've got you left, and you will dash all the way into this corner. Overwatch. 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 And Overwatch. I don't think we're alone out here. <laughs> really? You're inside a massive alien enemy ship. Do you think you're worried about whether or not you're actually alone or not? That's a power core. We've learned that hiding behind those is never the best idea. I don't like that position. There's not a lot of options to getting up here. Isn't a dash. So there's the line. Better than nowhere. Give me a little bit more information. All right, so that's all empty. Okay, so we don't need so need to worry about. We can move people up on a dash now. So we've got the scouting I wanted. Our eyes open on that breach, of course. Not push our luck too much. We don't want to go triggering a squad of enemies at our head side, and suddenly have to get down with my units all being very, very badly flanked. Don't stand there. It's <laughs> a very, very distinct recipe for one on the wrong end of something. This uh, UFO is pretty beat up. A lot of dashing, but I'm reasonably confident with my vision. <laughs> 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 <laughs>